Welcome back to another exciting episode. Today we're going to be talking about taking your AI music and turning it into stems and MIDI. So let's get started. Okay, so this company actually reached out to me and gave me a free 90 days uh, version of this uh, program here to try out and to test and see if I could do a video on it. So, uh, so up front, I didn't get paid cash, but I did get free use of it for 90 days. So here we go. So um, this program is called RipX Doll, and what it does is it takes um, your audio files. It don't have to be just AI audio files, but it does do AI audio files as well, and it extracts them, turns them into uh, separate stems, and then within the stems, you have control over the MIDI. And you can fix sounds, you can take sounds out, you can add sounds. Uh, if you want to change a bass tone of a MIDI song, you can do that. Or, you know, the drum beat, you don't like the drum beat of a AI song that you put together, but you like everything else, you can change the drum beat. So, um, you can, like I said, you can draw notes, you can split notes, you can pitch things, you can change the key of the song, although that gets weird. Um, and like I said, uh, the, the price is... For the regular version, it's $79, and for the pro version, is $158, and you do get a free 21-day trial to try it out. So I'm going to show you guys how to use it and why I think that it'd be useful for AI tools if you're wanting to adjust your the song. If you want to have more control over the song, this is a tool that's really going to help you with that. Okay, so to get started, you want to, uh, you can just grab an MP3 or MP4 or whatever and drop it in, MA4A. Drop it in. Let's see here. Let's, let's do this one here. Uh, drop it in. Okay, and then when you drop it in, it's going to pop up with this little uh, option here. And you can see here that you can se select whichever you want to rip out. So voice, other sounds, guitar, piano, bass, and drums. Or you can just, you know, save the stems for DAW or if you have an NPC or DJ. So I'm not going to do that because this says here estimated two minutes for this particular song. This is a really short song, um, but a regular song like the one I did already it's about three or four minutes long but it takes about five minutes to rip this song so so to save time I just went ahead and just ripped it when it rips it this is what it looks like um, so you can see over here to the left you've got different stems voice piano guitar bass kick drums uh, one thing I was a little disappointed with is that the stems aren't crystal clear I guess that's I'm probably asking a lot uh, I would have liked it if they were crystal clear though so um, this is one of the songs that I just uploaded on to my channel as a song that was created by suno.ai and uh, so it already sounds good um, doesn't need any like fixing or anything but let's just I'll just play a little sample of the song here you can loop to just by clicking and dragging that right there Losing track of time, forever young and Okay, so now if you'll notice that the um, that was a bit loud, I'm gonna turn it down just a hair. Okay, so if you'll notice that um, all the you know, like this, the, the voice is, is color coded, so this is yellow, this is all the vo vocal notes here. It's each one. Lights, the city never sleeps. Sounds. I always didn't like that part particularly because it seems real loud in the mix. Let's listen to that right there. It sticks out a little bit. So what you want to do, you can take this, draw a little box over it, and you can adjust the volume. Yeah, here we go. Let's turn the volume down. Okay, that's a little too much. Okay, so now let's listen to it all. See together, see what it sounds like. Losing track of time, forever young and so let the music take you high. Okay, so I noticed that I was able to turn it down uh, within its own mix. And, you know, like, so I'm able to just go through here and adjust each one of these notes if I want to. Uh, let's take a look at, like, say, you know, the, the kick drum. So you didn't like the kick drum being... Uh, here, but where you don't like the kick drum sample, like you can uh, check this out. You can take and you want a more kick drum. You could draw sound 
and then you could <laughs> okay so we'll have to move those down to to the right spot hold on so you draw the sound and then I'm doing with my fingers here. All around. Um, seems to be landed right there in that spot. There. People dancing there all around. So if you want a more kick drum, you just you just add more kick drum if you want, you know. Um, and you can shorten it. Obviously, these are little quick hits, so you can shorten your kick drum hit. People. Um, so we're just. So where it's short, just like these, uh, you don't like those, you can take that, you can take this if you wanted to, and copy it and paste it here. The rhythm in my uh, so, dancing all around. obviously um, I just dropped it wherever, that wasn't, that wasn't perfect timing there, but, but you get what I'm saying with it. I don't know what I just did there. Undo. Um, so if you're familiar with working with MIDI at all, this should be purely straightforward with you. You can also plug in your MIDI keyboard and you can record along with this track if you want to do that. Um, this is, I mean, it's basically a DAW. Um, I would probably hmm, maybe export it into my Logic. It does have sounds uh, and they're okay. Uh, nothing I would, uh, nothing I would write home about, you know, just, Yeah, so just you know, they're okay. Um, the effects here, yeah, so it does have you can uh, quantize pitch, quantize time, pitch to scale. So that's pretty cool. Um, it has some loops, you know, um, just basic stuff, really. Okay, so nothing too too fancy there, um, and I think you can import your own um, MIDI sounds if if what I read was correct. You can uh, if you like I said if you have issues with tones or hum, uh, if you need to purify the sound a little bit more, you can do all that, um, and you can filter out background noise and limit the front ground noise. So in this, you can solo and mute. So if you didn't want vocals you can mute it and this will give you a good opportunity to hear what the song sounds like where you still have some bleed through so yeah so that's the intro so there's still some bleed through uh, where's where's all my songs at don't know where my notes are oh I'm on the kick um yeah, so let's move it over to here where we know it's a lot of bass and everything playing. So, not perfect, you still get a little bleed through. Um, um, these are things I think that would be helpful for you if you're trying to use, uh, if you're trying to take your AI song and do more with it. Um, if you're just doing AI songs that are, and you're happy with your outcome, you don't need, there's no need to buy this. Uh, you can change the scale. You can actually detect the, what key it's in. Uh, so it says it's in D major. I'm not sure that's hundred percent correct, but so let's say it is in D major and we wanted to move it to, let's just try a, let's go to A. So it's definitely changed the key. Uh, it's a little weird sounding now. Uh, you could go in and, and fix your pitches. But you can do it. I mean, I'm sure there's a, a you know use for that. Uh, here's where we should be able to. We're still not being able to reset our rip. That's weird. Okay. So where are we at now? We're chasing dreams and living life. No time to count. All right, I messed that up pretty good. Okay, so let's see, is there anything else I could show you here? Um, like I said, you can change your your drum sounds. because uh, like I said, once you have everything broke down into MIDI, like you have here, what we got percussions stuff too. So 
This should show us some percussion sections that we have. Okay, yeah, so you can change those, um, especially where you have the notes broke down, like right here individually, like this. You'd be able to just go in and just really tweak it if you wanted to. If you really wanted to make this song your own or be like a natural AI real music producer, if you would. Forever young and um, so yeah, uh, like I said, you can plug in your MIDI keyboard. You can record it straight into this if you want to. And, um, oh yeah, you can, uh, oh, right here. So if you want to super control over your uh, individual pitch notes, you could go into it like this and really you know, it's got the hertz broke down and everything so you could really um you know do some figuring figuring out on what you got here adjust it really fine tune it if you wanted to anyway i feel like uh, like i said if you're doing if you're looking for something to um uh really find fine tune your ai music this would definitely be the tool for you so I hope you guys like it uh, if you try it out let me know i don't have a promo code or anything or i would share it with you guys but i will share the link to the website just so you can check it out you know at least check out the 21 day free trial it's worth fooling around with seeing if it's for you um let me guys know what you guys think about it um and uh thanks for watching have a good one